Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D, Episode 4, Level 6, po Going Postal. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and we begin this map with starting out right in the middle of a post office parking lot. I mean, obviously, post office. First secret, use the things on the side of the fire truck there. If you get shut in, you pick up a Devastator and Boots, by the way. If you get shut in, crouch down and press this button and jump through the fire and flames to get out. Yes, I totally did just make a Dragon Force reference. So, let's go into the post office, shall we? It's going to immediately just open both doors and toss a pipe. Oh, that's not what was supposed to happen. Get in there. Now, obviously, I just threw the pipe bomb into the wall, meaning that there is something there. So we'll get to that in just a moment. First turret. There's actually a dog print right there. If you use it... Yeah, it's supposed to show up on the whole wall, but there's the first secret. It's a little dog paw print. Crouching, he had me fooled that he wasn't there. I was like, hey, he disappeared on this playthrough. Just like in Fahrenheit. Come get, some. get in there. Unibomber poster hide secret number two. And hop down. Now, we're Duke Nukem. Are we overnight mail or are we first class? Well, it's obvious we're fucking Duke Nukem. We're first class, bitches. Did that... Protozoid Slimer just eat the pig cop? Ooh. All I gotta say is bacon strips and bacon strips and bacon strips and... Oh, nope, there he was. Alright, so pressing this will bring you back out here. So, you know, if you can... It makes the map a little bit more circular to navigate. Uh-oh. Come here. Alright, so down this way. First locker has armor. Second locker has the access card. Blue one. The third one, or the fourth one rather, has 30 health, which we kind of needed. So, yeah, the bathroom locker room thing. But the last one's the important one. Back here is secret number three. I found that the freeze thrower is the best weapon to work right there. Because you, I mean, because it's physical and it's, you know, enough to kill them all. So, if you happen to be low on health here, uh. you can just pop your medikit. Postal Rifle Association. Kind of funny. Blue key card. Whoa! Where'd you come from, good buddy? Holy shit. Fourth and final secret, crouch down here and pick up the shrinker or expander. Let's go turn the light on. Oh, freeze throw hammer. Hammer. Yeah. Ammo. I thought you were dead. You know what? Just because of that? Eat pipe bomb, dick. That was my phone again. I thought I turned that thing off. Well, let's take care of that. Who wants, uh, Toss a pipe bomb in this corner. Piece of cake. Doesn't matter. Jump up here, you can pick Ooh. up Devastator, and... Ooh. I missed the jump, so let's jump from lower. 
Whoa! I'm getting careless on my phone. That's like the second time it's shown up in an LP. I'm trying to not have it show up in an LP. Alright, so we don't need any shrinker ammo. Toss a pipe bomb down there. Take care of all of the... Come on, die! Bitch. Alright, so... We've got this mail ramp here. Let's, uh... Go follow it a little bit. Let's jump through here. Try and get a pipe bomb up there if you can. Just like that. However, it's not important. Oh yeah, they fried the lights. Alright, well, let's, uh... You know, just navigate our way through here. Crouch down, you can fit through the mail slot. And we now have the key card for doing so. So let's follow the mail route again. Because as you can tell, there's a protozoid slimer somewhere. Crouch down. Kick the mail in the way if you have to. Pick up an atomic health. Come out the other side. And that's the entire trip. However, like I said, we're missing a protozoid slimer somewhere. We'll find you. Ah, ah, ah. There you are! Punk. We'll pick up the expander ammo, and now we'll just head back out. So, with the red key in hand, let's open it up here. Now, this part's very dangerous, and I like playing it dangerously. Oh, shit! That's right, bitch. Shrinker me again. It doesn't work twice. That's it for that. Yeah, if you come down this way from the start, remember the paw print secret? Yeah. We've now made a full circle. Alright, so we need to get the yellow key, right? Well, hello there. So let's squeeze through here. Just take care of that bag of mail. Well, that wasn't too bad. Huh. Well, they're being nice with. Oh my god! How many pig cops? Good God! Anybody else want to come out? I think that was how I'm supposed to kill him. Great. And I've got a pissed off battle lord. One battle lord down, I hear another one. Fun times, let me tell you. Die, you son of a bitch. So now that I'm out of Devastator, and I'm almost out of RPG. How much worse can this map get? Obviously not very much worse, because that's the exit. Holy crap, this is another really cool map that I really like. Unlike, um, Area 51, which, you know, all the enemies are scattered throughout the map in high quantity. This one just throws them all at you at the same damn time! Which is a 
different tone from anywhere else in the rest of the game that I've seen. You know, you go, you hide behind the bunker, and you finally get that yellow key, and they're like, oh, hell no. I don't even know how many monsters I just killed. Friggin' aliens. Well, Going Postal's actually a really cool map. There's an actual building that they modeled this place after, at least the exterior. The interior, I couldn't tell you, obviously, but... The track with all the mail on it is kind of cool. Being able to blow up the mail and watching the letters scatter everywhere is also a pretty cool touch. And the, despite the fact that there's a ton of the protector drones in here, its difficulty isn't really that high. Until the ending, obviously, as you saw, I got shrunk twice, but luckily I had the steroids, which I'm hoping I can find some more soon. But with that, that's the end of going postal. And we'll see you in Triple Ecstasy. I'm Ultimate Mantoid, and this is Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D. Till next time, take care and have fun.